Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if any of you noticed, I did take a couple of days off for the Christmas holiday. I um, spent some time with my family and just did a lot of relaxing. But I am back with you now. I may take a day off next week to recover from New Year's. Not really sure if I'm doing anything or if I'll just sleep the whole day. We will see. Um, but I am back today and I wanted to take you with me through this journey on this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. It's kind of hard to read that bottle on camera. Beautiful foundation. It's what I have on my face today. Um, excuse like this weird redness right now. I just went out and started my truck. It's a very cold. I think it's like negative seven degrees outside today. However, I received this foundation a little over a week ago, and I've been wearing it ever since. I love this foundation. Um, it has become just my go-to. I just grab it no matter what look I'm, I'm doing. Um, it does have a sunscreen, and I think it's SPF, yeah, SPF 15. Sorry, I was trying to figure that out. And it's marketed to really all skin types, but it does say that it has more of a dewy, moisturized finish. And I have to tell you that it does. It absolutely does. And the first couple of times that I wore it, I had a struggle. And this retails for $44, guys. So I was angry. I was like, why? Why am I struggling so much? with a $44 foundation when I have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus $6 foundation that I don't struggle any at all with. And I realized it was my primer. So um, I have been using the, the best primers that I can find. I, I can't use my Oh, fall back hourglass primer with it um, it actually causes the makeup to really break down right around here in my face but I have been able to use my Too Faced hangover primer which is great and I just use it like on my drier portions and where I tend to be oily I don't use anything I mean I do my normal skincare routine and I'm fine or I have also been having some great luck with this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Anti-Shine Primer. This is supposed to be like a mattifying, obviously, as it says. It is a silicone-based primer. So I'm finding maybe the ones that are more silicone-based work better with this. It is a super thick foundation, so it just kind of helps it glide and, and sink into your skin for a minute. Some other tips that I have learned with this foundation over the past week is my trusty favorite, no, filthy, sorry about that guys, um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Can't use it with this foundation. You can't do it. Um, it shows so many marks. It doesn't, it reacts really weird. It doesn't like push it into your skin like it normally does. It makes it more sit on top of your skin and it accentuates texture, which is not what any of us want. So our lovely Artiste brush, and this is just one, honestly, I think I got this on Amazon. If I did, I'll go ahead and link it below. I do have an affiliate code. So if you're interested, they're beautiful. Um, I think they were like $7 for the entire set. It's like a 15 piece set. Some of the brushes are not so great, but for 15 bucks, this one is so densely packed. It's easy to clean, um, and it works amazingly. I can just buff, buff, welcome to my life, buff this foundation right into my skin, give it a minute to settle, and that's important. Give it a minute to settle, and then continue with your makeup. I have found that I don't even have to set this foundation. I can go right on top with my my contour, my blush, my bronzer, my highlight. Do you see this highlight? Lilith is blowing in. Um, that's another thing I'll talk to you guys about in another video. Um, I'm making a highlight video for you all. 
um, some low end, some high end stuff. I'm going to let you know about that. However, final thoughts on this because we know this girl right here has some struggles with her skin. I love it. I know it's been out for a while, but this has been my first introduction to it. I love it. It is now my go-to. I love the NYX Total Control Drops, and I love my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And they're more affordable options. I'll tell you that. They are more affordable options. But this is beautiful, and it's buildable. It's like, I have on sheer today. Like, I just put one, you know, swipe it on, buff it in. We're good. If I'm going for a full glam look, I can do it with this. It's totally buildable, and it doesn't cause a breakdown of the product, which is is amazing it doesn't get flashback it's so 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 good um, for whatever look that you are going for at that time um, I will leave the information below where you can find this um, as well as what I'm wearing on my face today which is a hint at the next video that you are going to see from me I think we're going to wrap this video up today now that you know that the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation is absolute magic in a bottle. Um, I love it. Totally approved by me. And we're going to wrap up this video. As always, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it. Tell your friends. Laugh about it. I don't care. Um, leave me a comment what you want to see. Um, tips, tricks, anything like that that you want to pass on to me, just say hey, it's all welcome. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all of that stuff in case I missed any of you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.